What's up guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nifon Tsui and today I will be teaching you how to draft a sleeve block. This video is a continuation to my previous video, how to draft a bodice. It would be greatly appreciated if you see it and beneficial to you because the sleeve block ties the bodice block um, together. Two of them go hand in hand. So um, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a nice day. You're welcome once again to my channel. Um, this is the video for how to draft a sleeve block um, Please like and subscribe These are the tools that you will need to draft a sleeve a ruler a pen and a measuring tape Before we start drafting the bodies make sure you have drafted your bodies If you don't know how to check out my previous video I have a video on how to draft the bodies. We'll be needing the bodies later on these are the measurements you would need to be able to draft a sleeve. I'm folding my paper in half. Now the first thing we'll do is to drop our sleeve cap. Um, if a person has um, a bust size between 32 and 38 and 36, sorry, you would use 2 inches for the sleeve cap. If the person is a medium with a bust size of 36 to 38, you use 3.5. If the person has a large bow size, you use 4 inches and above. If the person has a very very big bow size, then maybe you can add half inch to it again. For this um, sleeve block that we are drafting, we would use 3.5 because the person's bow is 37. Now on that line, that 3.5, that is where I will drop the person's bicep measurement. The bicep measurement is 12 divided by 2 which is 6 inches plus two inches for um, sewing allowance so that's six that's 12 divided by two six plus two inches the next thing I would do is to draw a curve now um, I like drafting my sleeve immediately after I have drafted my bodies because I like to measure um, measure out my armhole as you can see in the video right now um, I like measuring out my armhole so that I can make the the um, length of the top of my sleeve to be the same thing with my armhole so that when I'm fixing it I won't have any um, shortage or excess. Now I'm going to rule the straight line from the top of the paper to from the top of um, my sleeve cap to the bottom of my uh, my allowance. Now I'm going to look for the middle of my of that um, line which is 4.5 and I'm going to go in by half an inch if you if you've seen the video on how to draft the bodies you would notice that there are similarities between between um, the armhole of my sleeve and what I'm doing now now I'm measuring through to see that the curve I have just drawn is the same thing with my armhole it wasn't so I'm going to increase the line by one inch the line um, on my armhole was 10.5 what I had there was 9.5 so I added one inch the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my sleeve length I'm going to rule a straight line from top to bottom now since this is a short sleeve is if a person doesn't have Christian mother arms I like to taper out the sleeve so if I have six as my bicep I like to mark 6 minus 1 or the bicep minus 1 so that when I roll my line it tapers, it tapers out nicely. So if you have a bicep of 12, that will be 12 divided by 2 which is 6 minus 1. Then you add your allowance and connect the bottom part of what you've um, drafted so far. The next thing I'm doing now is to draw the back of the sleeve, like the armhole for the front, the back of the sleeve and the front of the sleeve is not the same thing. Next thing I'm going to fold in my hemming allowance before I cut. When I'm done with that, I'm going to open up the sleeve and then cut out the front of the sleeve. And with that, we are done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have any questions.
questions ask me in the comments i'll be happy to hear from you guys please subscribe and have a lovely day god bless you